In this video, we're going to look at the alkenes. The general formula of the alkenes is CnH2n. Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. They contain carbon to carbon double bonds. Alkenes undergo addition reactions. The double bond opens up and atoms are added to the molecule. So an example here, we have ethene. We have a double bond here. This double bond can open up and we can add atoms to make different organic compounds. So we're going to look at the different reactions that the alkenes undergo. It's important that you, you remember the conditions for the reactions. Okay, so the first one is with hydrogen. So we have ethene here. It reacts with hydrogen gas. The important point to note is the catalyst is a nickel catalyst, Ni, and we produce ethane, which is a saturated hydrocarbon. So we've gone from ethene, which is unsaturated, to a saturated hydrocarbon, which is ethane. The conditions are nickel catalyst and the temperature is 150 degrees. The product is a saturated alkane, which is there and it's used to make margarine. Next, with halogens. So here we have ethene again, and it's reacting with bromine, Br2, and the product is what we call a dihalogenoalkane. Dihalogenoalkane means it has two halogen atoms. So this is called one, two, because we number the carbons, one, two, dibromoethane. So halogens react with alkenes to produce dihalogenoalkanes, which is that there. We have a loss of color of the reacting halogen. Look, bromine is a brownish red color, but the product 1,2-dibromoethane is colorless. That's an important point. Next is with the hydrogen halides. So hydrogen halides are things like HCl, HBr, or HI. So here we have ethene again. Here we have HBr, and the product is bromoethane. There's the bromine atom. It's a halogenoalkane, bromoethane. So hydrogen halides react with alkenes to produce halogenoalkanes. The order of reactivity, most reactive is HI, then is HBr, and finally HCl. HI is the most reactive. Next is with water, that's called hydration. So ethene again, water, and maybe you can identify the product. We have an OH group there, two carbon atoms, it's ethanol. The reaction with water is called hydration and changes alkenes into alcohols. You heat with steam. The catalyst is concentrated sulfuric acid. So you might see it written like this. It means concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst. Sometimes you'll see it written above the arrow like that. Okay? And you make alcohols, in this case ethanol. Next are polymerization reactions. So what happens here, you have lots and lots of ethene molecules and they all join together to give you a polymer, which in this case is polyethene, okay? So these ethene molecules, they're called monomers. Mono means one, okay? This example here is polyethene or polythene that's called a polymer, okay? So ethene molecules can join together to make polyethene. Ethene is the monomer and polyethene is the polymer and they are called polymerization reaction. 